What's up everyone, my name is Justin Odisho and welcome to a Photoshop tutorial. I haven't done one of these in a long time, but today we're going to be recreating the Brockhampton Iridescence album artwork and, and the kind of promo artwork style that they've been going with. If you know what Iridescence means, it's that reflective like color changing look that you get when you look at like a soap bubble or if you ever see an oil spill on the ground it looks kind of rainbowy but transparent at the same time it's actually super simple and fun effect to do in photoshop using the gradient map tool so if you're ready to get iridescent leave a like on this video subscribe to the channel and let's jump into photoshop so I have a random image open. This is going to depend on the colors of your image. So this one has a pretty white background. If yours was against a solid black background, it would change because we're going to be using the gradient map tool. So let's go to layer, new adjustment layer, gradient map. This will allow us to apply this color mapping to everything underneath, not just on one individual layer, although you can do it on individual layers. So on the right hand side in the properties menu, we want to click on this actual gradient so we can start to edit it. Now in Photoshop, there's a bunch of presets and templates. Uh, and if you actually notice on the poster with Merlin on it, the fourth studio album will, will be released. I could recognize those colors from a mile away. It is the red, blue and white map. And I think they might have just maybe adjusted some of the colors or deleted some of them so it doesn't double up so much but you can see what's going on is it just maps like dark to light in this order but the cool part is you can click on any one of these color swatches you can move it around you can adjust the feathering of it or how close one reaches the edge and you can also delete points so if you want to delete certain points and adjust the gradient to your liking like so, you can move it around and slowly adjust the color. So that's kind of how they did that poster, but how they actually have been doing most of them is more of a rainbow iridescent color. So let's actually switch over to the Spectrums preset by clicking that cog wheel and pressing OK. And here we see some rainbow presets, and we can use this as a starting template. If we actually take a look at the Iridescence album cover with the, the pregnant woman, we could kind of see the gradient they used. It's dark blue to light blue to green, yellow, reddish, pink to white. So I can actually use some of these colors that are already here. So let's just move the dark blue to be first, then that like lighter blue color, and then green, and then yellow, and then red, and then pink. But let's, let's add a new swatch by clicking and make it white. And now we have this iridescent color but we can adjust the swatches. So let's say I don't want her cheek to be so pink. I can move that left a little bit. I, I can make this white creep in a little bit more. So now we have this iridescent rainbow. If you actually want to save whatever gradient you came up with, you can save it as a preset by clicking the save button and name it whatever you want. So you can name it iridescence. How do you even spell that? And press save and press okay. But now that we have this gradient map, we can you know turn it on and off, see it. Depending on your photo, you can actually reverse it. So this is the opposite. It just flips the dark and light. In this case, this looks more accurate to the original album cover because the background of this is white and we and the background of the album cover is navy. But you can basically use this on any photo you want. It will work in a similar way. That looks really cool. Um, you can see how it looks reversed or not reversed. And you get that iridescent look. So that is gradient maps in a fun application in popular culture, which is the how Brockhampton's using them. If you guys enjoyed this video, definitely leave a like on it below. Experiment with the gradient map tool. It's one of the funnest, uh, most fundamental tools available in Photoshop. Subscribe to the channel. If you want to see more Photoshop tutorials, I actually have like 200 of them on my channel. They're a little bit older, but still good. So check the playlist. And if you want to learn how to do this on videos, I actually did a video a couple months back on how to do a thermal heat wave type of effect in After Effects. So I'll leave a link to that. If you guys want to stay up to date with me, send me a DM, give me a recommendation for what else or ask questions. Follow me on Instagram at Justin Odisha. It's the best place to keep up with me and reach out aside from the videos I post on YouTube. 
So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.